Hello, my name is Christian Kassler. I have written the program uh, Cutcast font to DXF and G code, and I want to show you the program in this little video. Um, first, you can um, <coughs> create outline fonts in, in this um, tab sheet. You can enter the text here, then you see a preview uh, of the text. You can um, change the font here and um, you can select a any font which is installed in your Windows system. <coughs> um, sc the screen font resolution is uh, just the size of the, f of the preview. Um, you can also add uh, multiple lines. You can here select the line space and the character spacing. Then you can um, select and how many pieces one spline curve will be divided. So um, in two type fonts <coughs> or curve shapes or um, spline curves and um, the program can divide it, um, each, each spline curve into a number of segments and here you can um, select if also arcs will be created um, you see the, ef the effect here when I only choose one piece and uh, no arcs then you see the very rough estimation of the original font um, when you select create arcs then the result will be much better and, and is even if you <coughs> um, select um, more more pieces for each spline curve then the, then the quality will increase but of course um, sometimes you may want to um, reduce the the number of, of, of um, arcs and lines to a minimum and then you can um, yes, select here um, one or two so and the fo uh, output font resolution this is um, and together with the, f with the font size um, is the height of the font in the DXF file so you can uh, create a DXF file if you click save as DXF file. So I <coughs> will open the DXF file. Okay. Now I open the DXF file. <coughs> so this is the output as DXF file. This is um, the um, older DXF format which um, every program sh should um, read. Um, you can also save the DXF file with blinds in a newer format if you don't um, want to convert the blinds into arcs and line segments then you can uh, select this option. <coughs> you can also create a circular output but um, this is not displayed in the preview but when I save the file uh, the file is still open I need to close it. When you create it as DXF file then there you will see the circular output. <coughs> you can also create um, G-code. This is the created G-code and here we have a preview of the output. And you can also create the ESSI code. So this is the ESSI code. 
Ähm, das Mod Modul ist ähm, der Cutcast CNC Backplot Editor, which is also sold as standalone program. Here you can also import DXF files, for example, and convert to G code, for, <coughs> for example, and you can <coughs> view uh, G code and uh, debug G code. Yes. Um, Then you have um, the option uh, with the single line fonts. Um, so here you have no outlines but a single line. You can see the difference here. But um, with the single line fonts, um, there the program ships with a number of fonts which were created by me or by customers. <coughs> So and um, you can create the, the single line fonts here. First, you select um, the, the the base font from which you want to derive the single line font. Say you want to uh, chill song uh, as base font, and then if you click on new font here you can start to create a single line font so <coughs> when i um, press um, control then i get a horizontal line you can also i shall show you once with the with a curved shape you can for example this one here you create a I know this is not this was not the right tool this here curve so No, this is not symmetric. This new curve is better. So you um, need to test this a bit, a uh, little bit out. I um, it took me about um, an hour to create one font. If you um, after a, a little time, you get get really good at this. So you need to t uh, try it a little, a little bit, and then you will become really good at this, and you will be able to create um, a, f a font with the with the letters, and it was in an in an hour, and then you um, can save the font as new. <coughs> As new <coughs> font file in the program folder, and then the font will be shown here. Uh, after program start, now the font that I created should be loaded with the letters A, D, and C, and I can now use the, le the letters. <coughs> you can then um, create a DXF file. Just as with the outline fonts, <coughs> so the circular option is still active. I can deactivate this. <coughs> you can also um, create a G code. So G code for the single line font and also saves um, as DSX. DS DFSX file with splines or create an ESSI um, code. Another option is um, the stencil font. The stencil font options where the program creates the, um, um, apertures um, in the middle of the letters 
which would, would otherwise um, fall apart if you would use them as um, as stencils. You can here select if all characters should have the apertures or only the needed, um, for example, O and and E. Um, yes, the other options are like um, in the other tab sheets. You can use italic and bold. You can um, center and um, right align and left align. You can select the size and uh, and and how many pieces the program should divide as blind curves. You can select the right of the apertures, the line space and the character space. You can move the apertures to the left and to the right. And you can enter characters for which the program should not uh, create an aperture. For example, if I enter O here, then there will be no aperture here. You can then um, save this as DXF file. Um, and the last mode is the designer mode where you can um, <coughs> combine multiple text objects um, in, as outline font and a single line font on one um, sheet and we also move the objects or delete the objects and if you are finished you can save the complete sheet as the DXF file and there you have it so I think this these are the main functions of the program uh, um, you can also save and open the project this is for the designer you can save and um, open the project later to work on it again um, you can select the language here. Yes, I think these are all options of the program basically. I will create um, more videos about my programs in the next days, um, so stay tuned and see you in the next video.